Welcome to the shop. Today I'm putting together a two framer. Yeah. About time. Need some need to make some queens. Make some money. Get some bees. This wood is a, believe it or not, a dollar a foot. It's called hit and miss. Let me see what you can see here. See the texture on it? It's a rough texture like barn wood on that side. But the ends are smooth. The other side is smooth. This is the only rough side right here. But it's a dollar a foot. It's cheap. But it makes good bead boxes. Hey, hey. That's all I can say. That's all I need. Some wood. I'm going to make 12 of these things. I got 10 I made already. I'm going to glue them a nail. Yippee skippy. It's hot in the shop too. Very hot. My queen stopped laying because it's so hot. in the background can't help that I'm on this I'm right on the main street and there's a street light right there so I gotta listen to everybody's music but location 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 it's a good place for the shop I've been here 22 years 22 Skip it. I should be doing upholstery, but today's my birthday, so about four I just said, no, that's it. Today's today's my day. I'm gonna do what I want, and right now I wanna make some bee boxes. <laughs> I went out and checked on my queen cells. Went out and checked on them yesterday, I should say, and I checked on them today. I had 12 good ones in there, but don't leave them in there too long. Because they start second guessing themselves. And they tore down 11 of them by yesterday. And I know they were good. But evidently they second guessed themselves and, uh, tore them down so I went out today I did have one great big long one in there well guess what went out there today they don't tore that one down too but they did make about three of them for of their own on the, the comb in there I guess my grafting just wasn't good enough for them Is what it is. Yeah, y'all check, check the lumber mills around you. See if you can find this wood. It's like a barn wood. It's nice, just like any other pine. Just white. Pine. We got it here a place called Hicksville Lumber here. It's uh it's, it's probably about I wanna say twenty minutes to twenty minutes away, thirty minutes away, something like that. Something near Clear Spring. Actually I think they call it consider it clear spring. They do custom moldings and all kind of stuff. They don't they don't do logs, I don't think. The guy's name that owns it is Robert. I've been thinking about trying to get a whole skid of this, a whole, a whole uh, hack of this stuff. It'd be nice. I'd get a bunch of 16 footers or something. 
Comes in all different sizes. I think you got eights, twelves. Four, these were fourteens. I, I tried to get something that would fit in the shop here so I could I could store till I got could get to do them, but because I can't always do what I do what I want when I can when I want to because I'm so busy. Too many people on the schedule. If you notice, I'm just splitting the difference. One in each end, one in the middle, and then split the difference of those. Bam. Yep. One more to go. I figured I'd share these last couple with you. Yep. These I'm using for spacers because these are, and this wood is actually not three quarters, it's 13 sixteenths. It's a, a sixteenth of an inch thicker. He said he had one guy come up there. He wanted them because he thought it'd keep the beaver warmer in the wintertime. Like, ha, yeah, I don't think sixteenth of an inch of wood is going to help you a whole lot, brother, buddy, but you keep trying. Keep thinking. But I got this idea off of David Barnyard Bees. Yep. Thinking about doing some uh, doing some mediums and making my own frames. Let's make my own frames and some mediums. What I'm thinking. Split it into four sections. Make my own frames and. out the way these I've had like three nails already shoot sideways these it's because these nails are chisel point oh man you need I thought we was done with that end already it's because the nails are chisel point and it's it's like this so that means it can go this way or that way so what you want to do is set it so it goes this way or that way Along with the wood. That way you don't get you don't get bit. But still keep your fingers out of there. Safety, safety, safety. It's hot in here. You need to open the windows. usually have radio in here anyway, so that's why there ain't the music playing. I do work better with music, but I don't think better with music. I think better when it's quiet. So I do. So I gotta get these done before I graft again. Because my girl's done tore down all the cells that I had, and I know, I know they were good, they were good grass. I can barely see that barba. Barley. So I know they were good. It wasn't the side, wasn't it? Age of them. I think they just second guessing it. That or something is going on. Maybe it, it was too hot for them too. I don't know. I know I checked my hives tonight. My three best ones anyway. Because I was looking for a frame to uh, graph from. And uh, it looks like they ain't laid in there for a, a, about at least a week or so. But we've had the heat here has been well over 90 well over 90 for about a week so I'm thinking that's what it is and Queens will do that they will slow down or stop laying when it gets too hot because the heat will cook the brood just like it'll chill it I'm 
Just like it chill. Yeah, just slop it on there. Putting the clean side in for the girls, the smooth side. Because I know they'll be in there cleaning the floor if not. Seems like Miss Daisy. Like, this floor needs cleaned up. Middle. Yippy skippy. Still got the lids to do. I got them cut. I got to cut up everything yes, uh, yesterday or day before. I think the day before I got to cut everything. Cut everything up. Stay in here late and do that. Yippy skippy. That's the last one. All of them, all 12 of them. I got two out there, but now I got 14 of them. So now, got to do the lids. I don't know how this is going to work, but my buddy brought me some. Of that five eight, this five eight plastic wood, we call it cut board or whatever you call it, and uh, I'm gonna try using it. It's only five eight, so it's only a lid. I don't know if the lid would work on this stuff or not. We're gonna see. Another little helpful tip. Take your, put your glue on there. Squish it. Pull it up. Give it some air. Put it back on there. And don't slide no more. What? Thank you, buddy. Now I need some smaller nails. These here, I think these are going to be too long. Oh, what do you know? They ain't. What do you think? You think three do? I think that's working. I think that's working for me. Working. Look at there. It fits like a glove. Whoopee! So, what did y'all do today? Besides sweat. Box over here because I know everybody's sweating. It's hot out there. Skippy, skippy, skippy. No air. You can do this, this works really good with uh, that construction caulking. It's always nice to learn something, ain't it? Huh? Yeah, skip it. You're done. Number one bite of dust. I'm trying to pick the cleanest side because that's going to be exciting, huh? If any of y'all know if this glue sticks to Tacoma board or plastic PVC board, I don't know what this is called. Leave a, leave a comment in there. I don't know. I've never used it. There, there. Look at that. Don't slide. Whoopee cat. There you go. Lift it back up. Stick it back on there. One of them southern boys showed me that tip. Mr. Greg has.
Out of Bullwitch. Out of Bullwitch. Cause then I gotta go back <laughs> and check that last one. <laughs> to make sure I didn't run out of bullets earlier. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We good. That's one thing about these lids; they do go to quite quick. Rather quickly, they do. Side out. Yeah, I'd really love to have like I'm saying my goal was 25 to go through the winter, but if I have more, that's fine too. The more the merrier. But I gotta get these, these queens. I gotta get these queens made and mated and get them to build up. I'm gonna be pumping some sugar water to them here soon. Yep, you. Some air. I thought about doing a po doing a video of my upholstery, but I don't mind sharing my knowledge. As a matter of fact, I would love to share my knowledge with somebody else. Can do some of this crazy stuff I do. Time film everything. Upside, let's do this side here. <clears throat> well, that was kind of bowed, so it ain't gonna stay on her right anyway. It's kind of bowed. Seen Joe May, he used some of the wood look like this. Look like I don't know what they call it. So like I said, every location's got a different what they call it. Hit and miss here. These are uh, so small. That's why they're so rigid and their flexibility to them. Counted them. Counted them. There it is.
Two friend meeting news. Yep. Yeah, I'm uh also was thinking about um um making some nukes and using uh ABS. I got a four by eight sheet of ABS plastic over there that I got from my distributor. Thinking about making a a feeder and maybe using some five frame medium nukes and put a feeder right in the middle of it out of that ABS plastic and uh, trying something with that. It'd be a little bit expensive, but oh, I'm about to knock you off of there. Be a little bit expensive, but it should work. It should last a long time. And I got a bunch of these. Uh, see, I'm trying to use up what I got, and I got a bunch of. Uh, I probably got thirty or forty medium, medium supers from the five frame nukes. I don't see me using all of them. Got them in a big buy. I did in January. I don't see me using them on my nukes. I'm not going to use nukes like that. That way, I'm going to use them until they get big enough and either sell them or drop them in a 10 frame. But if they're making it, if they're in a, they're making, doing enough that they're making honey. They can go in a 10 frame room, is my idea. I guess it'd be alright if I don't got one at the time, but I plan on having them. So. And we had enough. There we go. Yeah, first skipper. Oh boy, I'm so tickled. Happy birthday. Oh yeah. Yippee skippy. Um, I got a mess in here. I got one heck of a mess. Let me see where my power's at, because as soon as I turn this video on, I can't see. As soon as I turn this video on, my 15% banged up. So, I'll show you a little bit of the shop here real quick before I turn this video off. There's my wood, there's my, my saws, my table saw, my radio arm. So, I got stuff so packed in here because it's so small. There's my chiller I need to get hooked up for my uh, salt water tank. Door to the office, the window to the office. Wires hung up. Headliner, I got to do this tractor seat. I got to glue the cushion back in there. I don't know if it fell off there. There's tomorrow's project. Um, there's my mess. Flat space. Hard to find flat space in here. And there's long, there's all my material down in there. So this is all. Usually, I try to put the factory stuff down here. This is all. Uh, some of that's factory stuff up there, but it's mostly big rolls. It's all cloth up there. There's all my headliner material. A roll of sofa. foam. And it's all my vinyl down here. You accumulate a lot of stuff in 22 years. But there's a motorcycle seat I gotta do. There's a truck seat underneath there buried. Hiding from me. Gotta get it done. Um, there's a Rolls Royce seat I gotta do. There's the backrest springs to it. There's the bottom to it. It's from one thing to the next in here. You just keep on getting on. But thanks for watching. I'm gonna get off of here and uh I'm gonna get off of here and See what else I'm going to get into.
Y'all have a good day. Thank you.